Hello everyone, I am Jojen Hummingbird. I am with the Footsteps to Peace. I am an intuitive channel, astrologer, Reiki master, and a spiritual life coach. If anything I say in today's reading resonates with you and you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can head over to my website, jojendivinity.com. That is J-O-G-E-N-D-I-V-I-N-I-T-Y.com. And you can click on the offerings tab to take a look at everything that I have available for you. So I wanted to jump on here and do a quick reading for my fixed signs friends for the upcoming March. Mars direct transit that we have on January 12th. So that is if you have your sign in the signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. So if that is your sign or if you're cross watching, welcome as well. So let's go ahead and get into the messages. So let's see, what do we have going on? So we have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Dance with life, do something to change your energy. And then inner temple devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So this for my fixed sign friends, this feels a lot like you are getting to the depths of who you really are and you're understanding your true levels of authenticity here. Like this isn't a time for you to people please anymore. This isn't a time for you to just put your nose down, get your work done and make other people happy around you so that way you feel safer. This is more so about who you really are, what you're here to express, what you're here to do, what you're here to cultivate, and what you're here to create. So I feel for some of you in the energy, maybe dancing is like a part of this expression for you. Maybe like actual dancing, maybe you do... Uh, like some form of like a tantric dance or maybe you are a tribal fusion dancer or you do like some form of ballet or something who knows like this feels like there's also just like some sort of physical movement needing to be involved and also uh some of you may be very i don't i don't know why this moon is just showing up very prominently in the card for me like i just I don't know, I feel something about this moon. Like this, some of you maybe have a cancer placement. We did just have the cancer full moon. So if you didn't watch that reading, I'll go ahead and link that as a card somewhere on the screen for you as well as down below in the description. Um, but this moon, it feels like some of you guys, like you could either like, maybe it's Pisces energy for some of you. Maybe you guys are closing out cycles and the moon does rule cycles. Um, this also could be just be like a very emotional process for some of you. And my fixed signs, I know, you guys not aren't necessarily the best when it comes to uh, dealing with emotion. Scorpio more so just because they're a water sign. They're a little bit better at it. But in shadow frequency, my fixed signs, you do not like emotion whatsoever. Um, and so this is a really good time for you to allow your emotion to be your source of creativity, to be your guide, to be your friend, to be what you not necessarily rely on in like a crutchy way, but what you trust and place your faith within, what you place your level of self-worth and self-discernment and self-trust in. So that way you can really express what it is that you're here to do without having to fit it into somebody else's idea or mold or put it into somebody else's place. This feels like you are developing you. You've been spending a lot of time in this Mars retrograde through mm -hmm. Gemini, uh, possibly uh, really focusing on maybe just getting by or making money and putting your head down so you can survive or maybe pleasing other people for the sake of getting by, who knows? Um, but it feels like with this Mars direct energy that we have going on, on the 12th for my fixed sign friends, it feels like you're turning that around. You're sort of like, no, I'm done with that narrative. I'm done. I'm the author of this book. I'm the writer of this story of my life. So I'm going to like, uh, I'm just going to rewrite this. I'm going to make this what I want to be. I'm going to be as creative. I'm going to be as spontaneous and weird as fuck. And I'm just going to go there. But it also at the bottom of the deck, we have get grounded and paths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So this is also a really good time for you after this retrograde, the chaotic uh, Geminian energy with Mercury also being in retrograde right now. That's the planet that rules Gemini. So this Geminian chaotic retrograded energy is everywhere right now. And then we also have uh, Uranus and Taurus right now. So Uranus is ruled by Aquarius and that's in the sign of Taurus. And that is one of your fixed signs here, guys. So that is like 
kind of throwing everything off. There's a lot of air energy up in the cosmos right now that's being thrown around. So our mind is very clouded. Our thoughts are very loud and noisy and distracting. And we can have a lot of intrusive thoughts right now, especially for my fixed sign friends. So this feels like possibly, quite possibly just going outside and getting in touch with nature. Just this morning, I was outside doing my morning practice and I was sitting outside in the chair reciting my mantras and I was then guided after the fact to take off my shoes and my socks and put my bare feet on the earth just to reconnect to ground and stabilize my frequency. I mean, I am a Capricorn, so I do deeply resonate with the earth energy, but it had this level of profoundness that I had forgotten because I don't do it often. And so I feel like for some of my fixed sign friends, especially my Taurus friends, uh, it would be really helpful for you guys to go outside and literally put your bare feet on the earth to reconnect, reground, restabilize, reharmonize your frequency. And quite, if you, if you don't believe in all the hippy dippy shit about it, it's literally going to balance out your negative and positive ions. It's going to neutralize your ionic charge. So that's healthy for you. That evens out your circulation. That balances out biochemical levels within your brain and it makes like your heart function better. So this is very beneficial for our fixed signs to be going outside and spending some time like grounding and connecting. So that way with all the change that you're about to integrate, all this inner listening, you're grounded in who you are instead of trying to base who you are off of what's going on around you. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards as well. So what's going on for this Mars direct transit for my fixed signs? What can they expect? So we have... Four of Swords and the Two of Swords. So this is also a time for you to rest because I don't feel like you guys see exactly what is coming. I'm trying to keep the glare. There we go. So I don't feel like all of my fixed signs know exactly what's coming. This feels like Spirit is trying to tell you guys to just take it easy, rest, really go inward. Like you don't need to see what's going on outside of you. Normally the Two of Swords in readings for people when this shows up and in readings that I've given in the past, it's been mostly about them not seeing what's going on and them needing to remove the blindfold in order to see. But really what I feel what spirit is trying to do here for you guys is tell you to put the blindfold on instead of tr insisting that it is needing to be off or that you don't need a blindfold or anything like that and you can see just fine and you'll be able to handle it. This feels like a time where there's going to be too much stimulus on the outside. Uh, this Mars retrograde, this Mercury retrograde, this Uran Uranus retrograde, like this time is very intense. This time is very distracting, like we were talking about earlier. So it's best for my fixed signs for in order for you to not get swept up in all what's going on and get distracted and carried away. This is a really good time for you to sort of put your like sleep cap on, put your blindfold on, put your like night cover on so that way you can rest without being distracted by anything going on outside of you. Okay, so let's see what other cards we have that were pulled. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So let's see if I can show you guys what we got going on here. So Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles all going on here. So this feels like for some of you, you need, to, like, this is literally what we were talking about, like cultivating like a higher connection and not being overwhelmed by what's going on outside of you. The Seven of Cups talks about like being overwhelmed by all of what's in front of you, all these many options, so many directions you can go, so many things you can have, so many choices. And this Queen of Swords talks about a woman who knows exactly how her mind operates, not in a way of like being overly analytical and hyper masculine, but in a way that is understanding of how her mind works, what her triggers are, what the element of air represents for her and how she can integrate into that level of higher consciousness that air represents for her and how she can balance it out with her divine femininity and her goddess energy. So this, these two are in between our Knight of Pentacles and our Knight of Cups here. So this feels like for some of you, relationships might just be a distraction right now. Some of you, you could have been previously with this like don't dim to fit in 
You could have previously been like trying to work to make a relationship happen with someone else and then it fell down, it went in flames, and then you're wondering why things aren't working. Well, because you need to go within and you need to distract yourself or keep yourself away from distractions. So that way you're not focused on anything but you. This Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles, this feels like like an offer and then also like financial stability. Like this feels like somebody's trying to like show you, hey, I got it all. Either, the, either that or there's like two different people going on. For some of you, maybe you're trying to pick between people. Um, but this energy of like Queen of Swords and Seven of Cups, like don't get distracted. Don't let it fool you. Like uh, I was talking to one of my friends the other day and there was a situation going on in her life that was very emotionally intense. And it was happening right in front of her, in her face, very much thrown at her it could be like a program from society if she lets her consciousness goes there um and so as this intense emotional situation was happening i was there to remind her this is an illusion this is a show this is a game this is a presentation this is a reflection of some form of consciousness this is not reality this is not real this is not you this is not who you are this is not a reflection of you this is not about you this is a game this is a show so this feels like for some of you, not that the offers that you're getting from emotion, like from romantic partners or otherwise, not that they're not real or that you can't trust it or anything, but it feels like going into this Mars direct energy, uh, Mars does rule conflict. And so you maybe have experience in conflict with these parties and maybe with this Mars direct energy, you're going to experience some progress. But I feel in the energy as well that like with this Mars retrograde, you've been distracted by these people because of all of the chaos that's been going on in the element of the ether. So this is a really good time for you to set aside all distractions and really close yourself off from them, not in a way that you need to shut down everything and cut everybody off and go hermit mode, but this is a really good time to just rest and rejuvenate and focus exactly on the inner world, go within the devotion, tuning your gaze within to the the portal of the heart so that way you can actually understand what it is that you're here to do at this time okay so that is what i feel in the energy for my fixed sign friends for this upcoming mars direct transit on january 12th so thank you so much for watching today's video if you resonated with it and you want to book a personal reading with me my information and my website as well as my socials is all down below in the description box and then if you like this reading go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the footsteps to peace and turn on post notifications so you are notified every time we upload a new video for you. So with that being said, thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Many blessings.